Sooner Scoop HD. Just what, what's this week been like, just bouncing back from last week and over the last two weeks of trying to kind of find what you guys had that first three weeks out there playing good defense? Um, we just been focused on, you know what I'm saying, the next game. Just like uh, the first three games that we won, um, you take the good with the bad, so we on to the next week. So it's Texas this week. We don't prepare any differently. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a little more, you know, intensity with, with the rivalry just naturally, but we're preparing the same way and, and coach is going about it the same way because it's the next game. This, this will be the first time that you've gotten the chance to actually play in this game. So is there, I mean, personally, is there a little bit added excitement coming into this week? Um, yeah, definitely. Um, but um, I just stepped in, I'm, I'm in the role now, and um, the coach is um, it's next rep, next man. So um, I'm just preparing like I've been preparing when I was the two, or if, if, I, was, if I was the one, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm still preparing the same way, and I take the same intensity towards practice. I sense that there's too much panic around here as far as the way that you guys have played defensively over the last two weeks. Is that accurate? Uh, panic, no. It's, uh, if you can see, if you see, uh, watch the games uh, as we watch uh, film again, it's just little things. It's attention to detail. So um, I don't think it's too much panic, but um, you know what I'm saying? We're definitely, we're definitely trying to fix those little things and, and still carry on with the game plan as well. Discipline, kind of the number one, I guess, keyword buzzword coming out of that. Mm -hmm. is you guys have to have discipline. You're going to play good defense. 100%. So if you see, if you see um, the other teams, the two, the two losses that we have, they play with tremendous discipline, and, and they went with their you know, bread and butter, and they know they went with their comfortable with, and they execute. Execution goes with discipline. How does a guy get out of discipline, I guess? How does that happen over these last two weeks? Um, practice, for sure. So if you, if you um, if you if you're not disciplined in practice, and you, sometimes you get away with it going with the scouts, you know what I'm saying? You, the scouts not going to be game speed. Sure. Um, it's, 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 you have to practice. You have to practice with intent. You have to practice with the same intent. So it's game. When you get to the game, it's, it's the same. You, it's second nature. So. Justin, a lot of talk about the explosive plays and some of the busts in, in the back end. I mean, where does that start? Is that discipline? Is that in practice here? Do same thing. Uh. It's the same. It's discipline. It's just you know what I'm saying knowing what you're gonna, knowing what you have to do, and knowing it not to doing it in practice, not till you get it right, but until you can't get it wrong. So, um, just those little things. You know what I'm saying pressure. We got a lot of um, guys. You know what I'm saying stepping up as well. So um, just knowing, just knowing exactly what you're doing to the point where you can't you can't get it wrong. So what are the differences then maybe this week? Not not in what you guys are doing schematically, but in terms of how you're communicating things like that to, to cut that out. Oh, you definitely have to communicate more, and, and and we've been doing that. We emphasize that every day with with the two losses. So um, there's never n enough communication to to go through and practice. If if it's an extra, if it's an extra, you know what I'm saying, get the call out or get the call to the boundary corner or whatever, it, then so be it. Like we have to we have to make it happen. So communication, there's never enough communication. How important is leadership? Having a group of experienced guys that can kind of keep everybody's mind straight after a performance like Saturday. Definitely, it's, it's it's big. It's a big thing. This is a player-led team, so you know what I'm saying. Just leadership is a big thing, even if it's leadership with the freshmen. There's a freshman leader. If there's guys that you know what I'm saying, has, a freshman has a bigger role, then then he has to take the initiative to step up and you know what I'm saying, make sure to take care of his class or take care of the guys in his circle. You know what I'm saying. It, it's a cumulative effect when when they're um. And they're going with leaders when they're being a leader as well. Now, from the top, what's kind of been the message that he's tried to drill into y'all the first couple of days of this week in practice? Um, it's uh, definitely really just been, you know, what I'm saying tackling. That's just on film, you know, what I'm saying. But we're definitely, I mean, we're we're a great defense. We're and we just again, it's little details. It's, it's no discouragement when when we look at the film. It's like ah, you know, what I'm saying it's something small. It's not it's not a big thing. It's not we don't have to change the scheme. It's Really small, so everybody's attention to detail and everybody's intensity is going up because that's what we know we need to work on. So, you know, what I'm saying we're 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 headed first at it. We, we know we got to take care of that. So, I hear a lot about you guys talking about complimentary football. With it being a question of who's going to start a quarterback for you guys, is there more of an emphasis for the defense to provide that spark that the offense can build off of? Um, defense just has to do their job, and um, obviously. Uh, just the identity of the defense that we feel like we have to bring the intensity anyway. So, I mean, we'll just bring the spark for the offense, regardless of it, if it was um, Dylan or whoever this uh, backup is. We, got, we, we have that identity that we have to start this game. When we go out on kickoff, we know we have to set the tone, you know what I'm saying, with physicality. So I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's because it's a quarterback change or anything. That's, that's just the defense identity. So, sure. 
what do you guys need to do to make sure if, if there is like a bad play or something that it doesn't snowball into a bad quarter or a bad half, things like that, as opposed to just isolated incidents on Saturday? Just like we, um, you know what I'm saying, the offseason we build that like team camaraderie. We have to know like, you know what I'm saying? If it's a specific player, you know how to talk to him. You know how to get him going. So, you know what I'm saying? Just stay close within adversity. It's going to be a lot of adversity. It's the Red River rivalry, and we know that. We know they're going to make plays an explosive offense there, and we're we're a great defense when we when we really apply ourselves. So, you know what I'm saying? Just just staying close within. You know what I'm saying? Bad plays are going to happen. Miss tackles are going to happen. But getting up and going to make the play and and, and you know what I'm saying? Go to the next next play. The last couple of years, it seems like this game has really <clears throat> catalyzed the team down the stretch. Uh, you feel like an opportunity like this to go up against a heated rival in an environment like this is really coming at the ideal time for you guys? Um, yes, it's it's um, it's definitely a great a great um, game to prove ourselves. You know what I'm saying? With two lo- two back to back losses, it's it's a great chance. You know what I'm saying? In the in the last couple of years, if you can see the pattern, it's definitely determined the um, the season. So we're looking forward. Again, we're not we're not um, we're not going about this game any different as if it was any other opponent, but you know what I'm saying? We're, we're definitely, we definitely understand that. We have, um, we've emphasized that in the team meetings as well. Has it been tough at all to block out some of the outside noise, or you feel like you guys have done a good job at kind of keeping the main thing the main thing? Yeah, we, we don't really, you know what I'm saying? Social media is going to be social media. There's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, outside influencers. Um, it's really, you know what I'm saying, there's there's nobody within within this uh, building that's outside this building that's really commi- as committed as everybody that, you know what I'm saying, works here, that goes to work here, including the players and, and the um, staff as well. So we don't, we, we really just stay within, you know what I'm saying, listen to the good, you know what I'm saying, get corrections and, and get held accountable and, and social media and, and all the outside noise is really not that big of a deal. What's your thoughts on Worthy and the Texas offense? Um, they are very explosive offense, um, but we, we have faith in, and we have we have very much confidence in our defense. It's, 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 again, it's very little details that we need to clean up, and that's what we've been doing. We had great practice today, and it's really it's really not emphasis on one on player or one or two players. They have very explosive players, um, a lot of speed on the, um, in t- on, on the interior and on the outside. But I mean, it's it's really about us, and we keep it about us. Justin, when we talked to. Damon, a couple of weeks ago, he mentioned the special connection you guys have. So, what was Saturday uh, Saturday like for you? And have you talked to him during the last couple last couple of days? Um, yeah, definitely. I talked to him um, right after the game. I um, gave him a call, you know, make sure he's all right. He's he's okay, and um, definitely prayed for him. But um, you know, our relationship is very close. We VA from Raleigh, you know what I'm saying? So, we're we're uh, before we both got here, we kind of had a. Um, relationship so that kind of hurt for him to go down but you know what I'm saying he's a strong guy he's definitely definitely strong so I, big faith big you know what I'm saying big hard guy so I, I'm I don't I don't have any you know I'm second guessing of him coming back speeding you know what I'm saying I'm ready to play sooner scoop HD